Mac here, and I just want to discuss something with you, with you all that I think should should be discussed. Uh, I was in the youth class a couple weeks ago, <clears throat> and for whatever reason, I got a question in my heart, and well, I know the reason, and I blurted it out just kind of randomly to the kids. I said, "How many of you all out there, you know, how many of you youth think that you've sinned so greatly that it can't be forgiven?" Because we were talking about Jesus Christ and how He died for our sins. And I was so surprised at how many kids raised their hands. It blew my mind. And I just, I had to tell them, I had to reassure them that, I told them, I said, listen, that, that is not right. Okay? Jesus Christ was the perfect sacrifice. So if you were to think that you've sinned so great that he can't forgive you, then you're like, that's like saying, you know what, Jesus, you aren't good enough. You aren't good enough you weren't a good enough sacrifice to forgive my sins. That is not, there's nothing farther from the truth, okay? That is not true. Jesus was the perfect sacrifice. And he came here to conquer death, to defeat sin, and the, he's it. That once you believe in him, you are a new creation. And you can be forgiven. If you believe he created the cosmos, why could you not believe he could forgive your sins? Especially the youth. I mean, come on. I just couldn't believe it, and I just had to just tell them, just stress it to them, that's a very dangerous thought. Don't think that. And don't dwell on it. Don't sit there day after day and say, Lord, please forgive me. This sin is so great. I okay, he's forgiven you. Once you ask repentance, true repentance, you're not going to do that again. You learn from it and you move on, you know you got to move on. It's once you ask forgiveness, the slate's clear. Your your sins are covered. It's done. Don't bring it up again. You don't want to hear about it again. When you bring it up again and again, that's like saying, "I just don't think you can forgive me, God. You're you just you're putting limitations on God, and he has no limitations." Jesus was the perfect sacrifice. He can forgive your sins. All you have to do, look towards Him, repent, create a personal relationship in your heart for Him, with Him, and you are a new creation, and He will forgive you of your sins. And then when you're done, you learn from it and you go on. You can't con God. You have to repent, you have to mean it, and He will forgive you. No limitations on Jesus. No limitations. He can forgive. I love y'all. God bless. I'll see you next time.